Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna show you how you can change permissions on an executable on a Mac. Typically, this is very useful when you're trying to execute a batch or a shell file, which contains a list of predefined terminal commands. Chances are, if you made this yourself, it's not going to be executable as is. So I wanna show you how you can change those user permissions and modifications to make that file executable. So on my desktop right here, I have a file called demo. And if we take a look at this, it's just a list of terminal commands that is going to execute. So the way you typically execute a shell file is, or any other executable on Mac, is you do dot and then slash and then the name of the thing. So mine is demo.sh. And if we run this, we can see that permission has been denied. Why? Well, if we do ls-l, this will show you the permissions of our demo file. So you can see we have ourselves and a couple of other root user level permissions here. So the user ourselves right here is this right here. We can read it and we can write it. That is all we can do to this file. There is no X, meaning we cannot execute the file. So let's go ahead and change that. So the way you typically modify your permissions is use the terminal command chmod for change the modifications of the file. So what we will do is there's several different ways to change modifications for user or other people access. There's a sequence of numbers you can use and you can do this for uh, everybody or just you. The easiest way to do this and the thing that I really only use chmod for is adding executable to the user level. So the easiest way to do this is say u for user and then plus we're gonna add executable. So we're gonna change the modifications for the user. We're gonna add the executable function. Now we specify the file, hit enter. And if we do the same again, you can see we now have our W and X. So we have added the executable to our user permissions. Now if we do dot slash and then demo sh, you can see it runs finally, it works perfectly good, and it says this really works. That is how you add user executable permissions to a file on Mac. Again, there's a sequence of numbers you can do that can also alter the permissions for other users. Instead of just adding an X to the user, we can add access to everything if we really want to. You can check a look at the link in the description below where you can see more of the different chmod commands U plus X is what I use all the time, and it's quite handy and useful if a file does not have proper permissions. So that is all for this video, super quick and easy. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark That Tech, and I will see you in the next one.